Can I ask for the top 10 customers that got the most amount of fraud in this pandas data frame without learning the pandas idiom? In this video, I'll show you how to ask a question to a pandas data frame from a small web app that you built yourself. As a prerequisite, we use OpenAI GPT 3.5 as the LLM to convert human language to pandas executable code. So make sure you have a ready to use API key stored in the OpenAI API key environment variable. Download the simulated data set from the reproducible machine learning for credit card fraud detection handbook. I'll put a link in the description below. The data set is split into daily pickled pandas data frames. So in a dedicated data pie script, I implemented a method to read a pickled file and another one to stack all of the daily files into one consolidated data frame. How can we build a web app to display and query the data frame? Meet Streamlit, a popular Python library to quickly build data web apps in a few lines of code. Go ahead, create a new Streamlit app.py script, launch it with the streamlit run command and your web app should appear in a new browser tab. First challenge, display a title and explore the fraud dataset from the app. Import the streamlit library as st and add a title to your web app by using the stwrite method. When you save your script, streamlit immediately reloads the changes and a title should appear in your browser tab. Load the dataset into a data variable using the load data method we previously created. Again, use the stwrite method to display it inside the app. stwrite will adapt its output depending on what you pass to it. Let's hide the data frame preview in an expander. This is taking too much space. There are a lot of streamlit widgets and layouts elements outside of the stwrite method. You'll find more of those inside the streamlit documentation. Okay, now how do I query the top 10 customers with the most frauds? There are multiple libraries to transform a data frame into a query engine, like Langchain's Python data frame agent or Llama Index Pandas engine. For this tutorial, we will use a dedicated high-level library that makes data frame go conversational called Pandas AI. Install Pandas AI in your Python environment, import smart data frame and create one from the initial dataset. How do we add an interactive text prompt? Well, Streamlit has a text input widget. It displays a text area in your web app and stores the user input back to the script in a Python variable. So if the query is not empty, pass it through the chat method of the smart data frame and Pandas AI will work its magic to transform it into Pandas code then execute it on the input smart data frame. And voila, your web data frame query engine is ready to go. Time for a small chit chat with the data. Get the top 10 customer ID with the largest fraud amount. A fraud being text fraud equal one. Yeah, as you can see, it works. Now I wonder, can I ask for a plot? I, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah. If you ask to plot something, the response from Fantasy AI won't be a data frame anymore. Instead, the plot is saved in a temporary file. Thankfully, Pandas AI has a pluggable response system. You can build your own Streamlit class, which uses ST data frame to display the data and ST image to display the plot stored in this temporary file. After plugging our new Streamlit class into Pandas AI and cleaning the ST data frame at the end, it is now able to correctly display plots and data frames. Okay, for transparency's sake, I want to learn what pandas code was generated from my query. Pandas AI also accepts a custom callback, which lets you interact with the pandas code as soon as it is generated. Create a container under the text input widget, use it as input to the callback initialization, and ask for a plot again. And there you go, here's the full code to group by customer ID, sum by amount, and finally plot with matplotlib. Generative AI is paving new ways for analysts to interact with data. It's a good complement to your data exploration skills. I'll let you try it out and be part of the next wave of data analysts assisted by Gen AI. I'll see you around. Bye!